Uh, I didn't cause the broken. Oh, yeah. Jesus, Freddy. It's not a fumble. Here, Freddy, not, Freddy, here. Freddy, stop. You can take hearing one of the fishermen scream as he is he's uh This is how you do it. Fucking electrocute myself. <laughs> <laughs> like both of them have managed oh. to give themselves a nasty jolt. Uh uh I have a plan to oh, number for that is. Ah. Any card that says skill plus whatever at roll and add skill plus five, ten, whatever, get rid of it and then draw a new card for every one you get rid of. Logan, is, this isn't a prestige ball, right? No, but they are trying to make it more difficult uh, because they want to be like a prestige mod. Okay. I'll go ahead and describe this then. You see how the adventures can differ wildly from party to party and stuff, Freddy? Mm -hmm. This is my life. This is what my life is like all the time. Burn. Uh, it all comes down to Vince. If he can make his electronic repair, no, <laughs> nothing comes down to Vince. So you guys, it looks like your car, known as Exhibit A, seems to be stuck here next to the... Um, you're, you're pretty sure one of the fishermen's still alive. The other one, you're not sure because he's just laying there, uh, still on fire. And um, there's a huge burn patch. Smoke is billowing into the air. Um, it's only a matter of time before you're guessing the authorities come to find. Can I use my as an improvised key to just turn uh, the uh, uh, hole? I get out of the car. The problem is that they've separated some of the wires that are normally together because they needed to do stuff with. Them. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I grab my shovel out of my backpack. I grab my first aid kit. I leave everything else here. The blue, the hotel, the blue uh, bonnet. You remember that one, Vincent? Yeah. That's where I'll be. I can't. Uh these people. Do you want me to patch him up first before you leave? You can patch him up with his first aid kit, but I gotta go okay. save these fucking slee stack. All right, Mr. Fireman. All right. Fuck me. All right, I go back, and with a hero point, can I attempt a pre fire prevention, Logan? No, you've already rolled massive amounts of our shit. You can try to first aid them. They may be salvageable. I, I try to well, grab them and save them. So the shifted and stuff. Yeah, wasn't expecting that. No, who who knew wind would come into play? I'm gonna first aid Vince. Hold still. Okay. Stab you in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> My foot falls off. <laughs> right, he's uh, a little kitty bandaid on your head, kisses the side of your head, and says, "All oh, better," and you're not gay. I a quarter. No problem. The one guy that's still on fire, you think will live, but he won't like it. I drag both of them the fuck away from the fire. Okay, no problem. Give me a simple strength roll of plus ten percent. They're lighter because they're charred. Critical. That's uh, right. One in each hand, and it does a lot of the <laughs> fireman muscle poses. If you had somebody taking a picture of it. You might even make it onto the next fireman calendar. I carry them toward the road. No problem. Hey, how, how about, what about us? What do you want us to do? Oh, I thought you wanted to carry him to carry you two also. No, you got like, actually pretty far away from me at this point. I'm not, I'm not, okay. The car is like, uh, what is it, a quarter mile away? Yeah, yeah. The car oh, is a ways okay. away. Never uh, mind. I don't say that then. So uh, I turned to Vince and I'm like, what now? Yeah, I mean, oh. your car is, looks like it's stuck here. Uh, unless you can think of something ingenious, uh, it may get seized. There is a bloody axe that's been left in the car. A piece of uh, the side of uh, Slee Stack head on the front seat. Uh, blood that's been smeared from the axe into the interior of the car. Oh, yeah. Things that might be loosely termed as evidence. What do you do, do? Oh, and you've been left with the evidence. And also, you realize because you you can in the vague distance you can hear sirens. And shit. You realize that they'll get to you before they get to him by a long way. 
So what are you two wanting to do as you're sitting there? Because, Freddie, this part's not a no-brainer for you. You've got actual shit you can – yeah, I know. That's why you are. So enjoy it. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, later, would you just like to wait in the car until they come and take you away? Is that what you're saying? Should... You want to be in jail and have Tim come get you out of jail? Okay. Oh, I make a shirt that's under Tom Tom's name. All these years okay. later, I'm still delivering people completely into the fucking pit of insanity. Mm -hmm. ah. So what do you guys? Uh, Vince, what's what's the plan? Oh, uh, we book it. So that way it's framed on Tom Tom. <laughs> you are a heartless bastard. <laughs> yes, <he is>. <laughs> 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 do, do you have any more of that gasoline on you? In the trunk, supposedly. Do you have any matchbooks? Um, I literally just carry everything that I have on me, so. You have all you have in your equipment list, Freddy. Yeah, you've got all your equipment, Freddy, wherever you're looking. Oh, I have no MacBook. I'm not saying him. That's Do what you, you have in your MacBook. Smoking. Or smoking crack. <laughs> That's right, kids. Do more crack so you can have matches to burn the car. Nice. Um, I'm an educator. <laughs> all right, well, I'm following... Uh... Oh, well, this this part has nothing to do with the mission, Freddy. So you are not on a no-brainer for this part if you want to try to actually figure out anything called a solution, or you can just say "fuck Tom Tom" anyway. Whatever. I want to burn the car down, but well, I have nothing to say lightly. Ah, uh, depend on what you do. There's all kinds of clever ways to burn something without having. Am I like really? Using the wires that they fucked up. Oh, the ones that spark the spark. Yeah. together? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that would require that you're in the car sparking the wires together when it... Yeah, I'll start like... I'll, 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 I'll start like... I'll grab a piece of paper, like ignite the paper, All right. in the car, pour the gasoline in, and run away. No and problem. You, you, uh, you've got a problem because, uh, oh, wait, you're going to pick the lock of the trunk because, yep. oh, wait, there's a trunk release here. Tunk, tunk. Trunk opens up. The gas can that he claimed was there seems to be missing. And then it does like a close up shot. Completely and melted. melted thing in the plastic near the fire where it was forgotten about. Uh -oh. All right, then I'll. Um... Okay. Uh oh, is all he says to you. The Demi tank, rags. Apparently. Demi rags on you. And he, uh, I cracked my oh, t-shirt. Also got blood on him. Like, uh, some of it's his, some of it's God knows who. Give me, give me your sleeve. I start trying to tear your sleeve off. All right. Give me a strength roll just to go <laughs> and make his uh, suit into one of those uh, sleeveless suits that maybe they wore in the 80s. God damn, Freddy is strong as fuck, you think? He just rips both of their sleeves off. This will do. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna open the petrol uh, door thing, stick yeah. the sleeve inside, light the sleeve on fire, and then fuck off. There's my you know crime scene. No. Do you have any kind of demolition skill there, Freddy? Nope. Okay. So what do you guys, now be specific here, in addition to your equipment, is there anything, because I assume you're taking what you normally take, is there anything else you'd like to remove from the car as you run away from it with sirens and shit coming up the very same road? Oh, dear God. Anything at all. <laughs> They're getting closer. <laughs> dear God. Okay. That's a no. All right. Now, Freddie, it's a lot harder to do this than it uh, says on the tin. So I'm actually going to need a demolitions roll to make the car. Let me know when I get up to where the car is, Logan. Uh, with the two guys you're carrying, it'll be a while. Uh, you'll, you'll, uh, about the time the car explodes, <laughs> maybe. Right. You two, meanwhile, are caught in the explosion as the car explodes 
premature. I was spending a brain. Explode. I was spending a brain. To walk up to the car with a little piece of cloth laying on the ground next to the gas tank that's smoldered out. With a fumble roll, sure he can. All right, it's just not catching for some reason. Tim right, fine, I'm leaving. I'm out. Done. At this point, you see them kind of scurrying around, and you two see him. Like, give me a long distance running roll, Tim, because you made a critical strength. I did not forget that. Mm hmm. Stitch, yeah, sure. Stitch. Stitch, you're not going to make it then. Yeah. You're not going to be on yeah. time to see them. Unfortunately, yeah. Hopefully you did yeah. set up a. Uh, oh uh, my God. All right. No, I need to fucking make it. Actually, oh, fuck. No, I don't know that they're fucking around like goobers. Um, oh, of course I, you know that. You know that without, if, even if you. Instinctively, I know they're both fucking around. Oh my God, yeah. What do I do? You could just log on now, good. You two are fucking around like goobers, aren't you? And you would be right. <laughs> You can just say that. I spend the fucking up. point of hero. Uh, damn it. Skills. <laughs> fucking long distance running. Oh, you glad I pain. <laughs> I thought it would get fucking better, Freddy. It's gotten infinitely worse. This is what happens when he dresses like a crazy old Jedi. Oh my god. Like, I fucking. Gosh, <laughs> same stitch. Ah. Uh, uh, one more hero point. I'm later. following Vince's lead, by the way. If you, make it, way. if you can make it, by the way, uh, TJ, I'll have you rushing around the corner just before they run off in a blind panic. <sighs> there goes another point. Mm -hmm. Boop. Jesus, there right. we go. Okay, as you guys are getting ready to rush off in a blind panic, you see... Colburn, the burned up fireman carrying two unconscious fishermen <laughs> rushing toward you and looking really irritated like he just spent two hero points on long distance running. And he's rushing toward you guys and he says to you, before you rush off in a blind panic, he says, you can tell they're getting ready to rush off in a blind Fucking panic. stop! <laughs> stop! I stop! stop! I dropped my wall. Why are you running? He's rolling around on the ground right now. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with he you guys? He told me to run oh, Hold on, hold on, hold on. It looks like... Uh, Do I notice the fucking rag sitting in the gas right. tank? Logan, do I notice the rag sitting in the gas tank? With a spot of half? Yes, you do. I it fucking ripped like that out of there and closed the fucking gas lid. Okay. Jesus Christ! They have no reason to search your vehicle, you lunatics. I, could, you know, I don't know what there. you two are up to. They have no reason to search our fucking vehicle. Well, why did you say that in the first place? I wasn't here. <laughs> He's standing there in a, a suit with no sleeves. <laughs> and you're about a kilometer and a half away. You can see cars coming. Your only concern right now, Tim, is if they cl casually glance in, there is a two-handed bloody axe in the car. That's Put fine. It Put it in the trumpet case. <laughs> There's a trumpet case in the back <laughs> right now that you look. I open the trunk thing. I take that and I put that and all my other shit in the trunk. I close the trunk. Toss the head in the fire. Was I close. What? Wasn't there a head in the front seat, or? A what? There's a piece of, there's a piece of uh, uh, skull in the front seat. Awesome! I put it in my pocket. All right. <laughs> Souvenir, he thinks. I'll make a necklace of these later. Oh, better. I fling it the fuck off into the woods for something to eat. All right. <laughs> no problem. The cars come up, and it looks like a, a fire truck, ambulance. Uh, Sleep stack. They got burned. We tried to put out the fire, but it spread too quick. Oh my God! I have to carry him down here by myself. Oh my God! Right, the slee stack paramedics attempt to save. Now nah, this one's not going to make it, and <laughs> this one will though. Right, you probably saved his life. They tell you, and they rush him off. What's his name? Okay, baby, you're 
Right. They rush off and um, yeah, uh, they, they yell something garbled at you. Give me a listen roll to actually make out what it was. Hmm. Alex Got it. McEnroy. Did you say Alex Manroy? McEnroy. Sounds like a good name. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> the cops want to get statements from you guys. Fortunately, they don't know your suspects because if they were to separate you guys, the statements they would get would be so wildly oh, different they would shoot each of you in the head. Right, the yeah. uh, Logan, before this card gets thrown away, I spend my the man has unexpected connections okay. in Burlington because it seems to be somewhere that comes up often. This is a different Burlington than normal Burlington. Oh, this is not the normal Burlington. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Um, now nah, fuck it. I'll I'll blow it on uh, fucking uh, fucking uh, fucking uh, cyberpunk world place. Hong Kong. Great, great idea. Hong Kong. Like Hong it. Kong. Mm hmm. Oh, fooey. So, right. Anyway, uh, the cops get a statement. Uh, what is your statement? I'm assuming you're not letting the R2 speak and will beat the shit out of them if they open their mouth, DJ. So what is your statement for the cops? What happened here, says one of the cops. The rest are continuing on to go check it out. Uh, we were fucking setting up camp, set up our camp. Fucking, uh, I had my fucking gas can up there and fucking something knocked it the fuck over and fucking everything went up in flames. Did you lose any property in it? Uh, I mean, uh, I don't really remember. Uh, probably my tent. Uh, maybe, maybe some of our fucking uh, like the gas can. Uh, shit. Uh, I might have had a spare axe up there. Uh, shit. I, I don't know. I, I can't really think about what what I lost up there. I'm sorry. It was all so fast. Look at me, for God's sakes. I barely made it out alive. <laughs> Give me an acting and then a fast talk roll. If you can succeed in both of these, no further questions. They uh, just go the fuck I'll away. I'll play an assistant fly with no acting. I was going to say, if you, two, if you two want to support with acting and fast talk, you can really bump up his, his skills. And you can choose to assign those bonuses where you'd like. Like, if one of them makes their acting and bursts into tears because it was all so horrible, that will help you out, TJ. I would like okay. to point out at this time on that I other? have absolutely none of these skills <laughs> cool this is going to be like I start groveling like an idiot it okay. was horrible the fire All right, acting what's uh what's this bonus do for me well uh each e they each get to try acting and fast talk skill rolls each one they make adds five to whichever of your skills you'd like to go to All right, so we're cool. going with acting first well, your uh, I, TJ is going to support your fast talk. So you can put all these into your fast talk if you want. So Freddie is doing good fast talk. Miserable actor. Should probably be beaten if he goes on stage. You have another plus five. By the way, I'll play the card. Right. So okay. what am I rolling and what am I putting on it? That's all I need to know. Wait, wait a second. Let's let let's see how uh, Vincent does real quick. I'm going to find out if Acting and fast talk, Vincent. All right. I had to refresh my page because... Acting. All right. Excellent. Fast talk. It was bad, he says. Ah. I didn't kill anybody. He looks at the camera. <laughs> Wanks. Yeah, oh. we're, we're so fucked. All right. Do I get a, okay. do I get a so plus on my acting? You have a plus 10 on your whatever so, you want. Okay. Well, I would I, first do your acting, TJ. Just roll acting. I wouldn't put any bonuses on that because you're going to need them for your fast talk because your character's like, I will kill you with an axe. No, what I meant to say is I won't kill you with an axe that I have in the trunk. It's bloody. Right. So give me the acting. This is going to be supporting your fast talk with. There's no way that this is going to You might work. make it. Or you can fumble and wipe out all that. Stuff. No, okay. So you're at a grand total of fast talk plus 10 because Freddie gave you a grand total of plus 10. So I'm sitting at a 24 with that plus 10. You can do it. But look, look at the I've had worse odds. Double check your cards. Is there anything useful in your cards? Um, no. You can 
You can unjam your gun if you want. <laughs> if you want to... Wait. All right. Hold on. What was the no. wait for? If you're going, if you're wanting to redo it all, they can redo the. If you have a hero card or a reroll or something, or you're going to start blowing through hero points, they can reroll all their supporters. Well, so okay. Can... What happens if he fails before he decides? Off to the station to get this sorted out. More questions. Investigating the campsite. It spirals bad. But it's an investigation. I, uh -huh. I knew it. I knew it should have. I was spent a several point to redo my. It won't. Nah, nah. It won't. Only help. I can redo my fast talk. Oh, gotcha. All right. But you can try re-rolling each of your guys' supporters if he's somehow because he was doing the talking. Not, not what if we like butt in and say, "Our friend is massively distraught. Please let me explain what happened," and then I go and do that. Well, you tried a negative ten to as he goes. I was doing certain deeds in the woods and shifty so, dog eyes. So it'll all shift over to your shoulders, Freddy. Freddy takes takes the uh, thing. You're the, uh, Freddy, you can try to support your, well, with as bad as you're acting as, I wouldn't use Holy that. shit, Freddy. Yes, Freddy. I, I don't know what's going on, Freddy. Give me it's okay. Freddy, last talk at negative 10 as you go. He's completely... Bereaved, I will now do it. Oh, so, oh. Fast talk negative 10. Fast talk negative 10. Do either of you want to support with fast talk or am I doing this? I'll support you with fast talk. He goes, Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do it, maybe. <laughs> that's probably what's going to come out of his mouth. Yes, that's exactly what comes out of his mouth. Despite him being really good at fast talk, he goes, I didn't do it, maybe. All right. <laughs> uh, Tim's like, we're going to jail. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Freddie's like, so, you know, I think uh, this investigation sounds sexy. Let's so, Freddie, I'm thinking I'll, I'll, I'll handcuff you to me with the guys' <laughs> handcuffs that we killed. All right, all right. I'll spend one year point on this because I hate you both so much. Welcome Wait. to the group. Freddy? Right, hey. <laughs> right, no problem. He is so uh, consumed with uh, uh, the uh, actual other thing, and this guy's obviously a hero because he managed to carry all these guys all the way here because he could see like occasional scuff marks and stuff where their feet were like hitting the ground and stuff. So it's real obvious in the running and stuff, and he's like, Mike. God, that guy really bent a little backward. He has no time to mess with you guys. They charge off to the lake because the fire may be catching. Speaking of the fire catching, give me a luck roll, TJ. Lower is better. This is for the fire going out of control. If you can make it good enough, the fire goes more and more out of control. Success. And there's still some trees on fire and shit for the fire department to deal with. What a pity. Meanwhile... All you guys got to do now is find a way to make your broke-ass cargo so that you can get away because everybody's currently ignoring you. They're off at the lake, but more cars will probably be coming because, you know, they're, that's the thing with cops. So, Vincent, yeah. you're the only one who hasn't tried to use electronics. Oh, no, he did. He did. He, he did? Wait, so all of us have? <laughs> yep. Push it. Where do you want to go? Tell me where you want to go. You could well, push. we need our car to not be here. You could literally push it, have somebody in the driver's seat, and the R2 pushing. It's going to be a living hell. It'll, Yeah, but it still won't be on. I didn't say it would be great, but it would go somewhere else very slowly. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Uh, me and Freddie will push. You drive, Vincent. All right. Uh, question, Logan. Can uh, I jump get a car? Can you what? Maybe. I mean, would it fit through the, the pole? I mean. Uh, I will have to check that. That's a very clever... I have a special to... ability that allows me to travel places. Let me look here. Is it for this Illuminati watch? That's right. It's all... Uh, about... If that's what you want to call it, sure. Okay, this is Detective Summers. <laughs> <laughs> Cl 
clearly working with some sort of natural inhabitants of this region. No, you couldn't get it through there. Okay. Oh my. All right, Miss. I thought I help Coleman push. Yeah, we push. Right, both of you guys give me strength rolls. The more amazing and manly, the faster. <laughs> I'm fucking done, Freddy. I'm fucking done. Nice. Freddy's pushing like a champ. Now, Vincent, you're at a drive roll. You're at a plus 30 because you're going super duper slow. Is this plus an auto or? Yes, drive auto. auto. That's right. I do drive auto. Thank Yay. Goodness. Hey. Despite never having driven before, you guys are going slow enough that he manages to drive. He's like, what the hell is this, a car? Anyway, you guys uh, are pushing your asses out, and eventually a guy, uh, like one of the various uh, people rescuing and stuff, um, Freddie, give me a luck roll. Making it is a good thing. Uh, uh -huh. Nobody stops to help you. They're all very busy. Because otherwise, it'd be like, give it a, another turn. I can't. <laughs> so, right. You end up, because of this, pushing the car all the way. Wait, we got made by her. Exactly. Oh. Imagine, imagine the conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, Will it turn over now? And they, you go, <laughs> they go, <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> it <goes> blood, yeah. <laughs> oh, blood. yeah. So, I, I, I'm like turn to I turn to Colburn. Where are we you're pushing the truck it? As you're pushing it. Where are we pushing it to? Yeah, where are we going? Um, not where all the action's happening. I'm guessing into town. A block or two. We need to get it. Uh, fuck. Yeah, fuck. we need to get it. Um. We need to get it somewhere where we can get somebody other than us to try to fucking hotwire it. How? What the fuck are we gonna do with this, Freddy? What are we gonna do with it? No, oh, I know what we should do. Uh, we put it on the side of the road and uh, fucking leave the door open, take our shit, and just walk the fuck away. Someone will deal with the car. Yeah, and then call um, Tom Tommy. He's gonna have fine or a. Actually, Col Colburn thinks this is way too much of a nice town that the car probably will be sitting here uh, for days. Yeah, just put a sign in the in the fucking window that says, uh, "Fucking be back in an hour, hunting." Or oh, put it in a no parking zone. No, 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 no. We don't want authorities to be looking the vehicle over. If we leave the cars, they'll find it. Yeah, like weeks later. All you got to do is slap a sign in the window that says hunting. People will be like, oh, these guys pulled the fuck over to go hunting. They're off in the woods. Hunting in a park. Aren't we probably... Like there's, woods attached, there's woods attached to the park, though. She was a guy getting ready to catch a frisbee and gets shot by a hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Clay pigeons. Yeah, these are better. They're plastic and someone else brings them. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, if we leave it on the side of the road, fuck the sign in the window that says hunting. Freddy, give me an endurance roll. They'll leave it alone for a while. You're doing great back there, by the way, Freddy. He's sitting on the car telling you this, and you are like, eh, 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 eh. and every Hold now and then the brake lights come on, and you're like, the fuck are you pushing it, they fuck, they fuck it. and he's sitting there telling you what a good job you're doing. I uh, offer him water while he does. <laughs> I open my mouth. There you go, Adam. Boy. Perfect. There you go. You got it, champ. You got it. 27 miles to go. No, we push it off the fucking side of the road. Just push it all the way back to the PIL. Grab, grab up the fucking, uh, all the fucking shit. All right. You guys grab all your shit out of the car. Yep. Uh, and, and we walk. Uh, they, oh, uh, you've got paper and pens and stuff. You leave a sign in the window. Great. Mm -hmm. Hunting. Close yep. the doors. Lock yep. it. Okay. Done. And we fucking skedaddle. All right. Fortunately, Freddie's got a car because he doesn't owe enough money. 
So you're going to take him to your car, Freddie, or deny it exists? Yeah, <laughs> sure, yeah. He I'll takes you to a car. car. It's got a big number 13 on it, and it looks like at some point it was a demolition derby car, and then somebody said, I can pound out those dents. And so now if you run your hand over it, it's kind of crinkly feeling and stuff. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Are oh, they all covered in blood? Uh, only one of them, the guy missing the arms off of the suit jacket. It's dry, though. I'll look up you're, down you're wondering if anybody will care about the blood stains in the parked car that has a sign that says hunting or if they'll think that you shoot things and then stick them in the car with you. Uh, you're thinking that leaving it sitting there, you're thinking that whoever signed for that car, he might go to jail, which would be a real kick in the nuts versus electricity goes off so he can't game, and then his character gets arrested. Um. <laughs> hey, uh, Colin, what? do you have anything in your supply of camping that you can wrap them around in? I don't want dry blood all over my car. Wait, your car? That's, that's yeah, what we're... Yeah, my car. Sure. So we're leaving that other car there, and yeah, uh, I know what he could do. He could take his fucking shirt off so he wouldn't get blood all over your shit. I'd glad with Vincent. All right. Strip. <laughs> All right, we stuffed um, the naked monkey into the back seat of the car. Uh, is that it? Are we good? Are we we leaving, Freddy? Yeah. Where are we going? Go back to the back to the agency. What 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 are we doing? No, nothing. All right. Fair enough. Now, quick quick note. It's up to you guys because we're getting close to normal finishing time. Although I I don't think you've actually gotten very far in the mission. You can. A, choose to abandon the mission, and we'll do end of mission. It'll be a couple less pause, but at the rate you're going, you'll probably just spend more trying to do the mission than you'd gain doing it. Or B, keep slugging on death or death, death or more death. What do you want, Vincent? What are you feeling? I'm um, I'm still in the mood to play, so uh, death. This I like is it. good. Yeah, you can tell it's actually Ralph. Right. There's no postman. Involved. We're pushing on. Right. Uh, we're leaving this car here. The the one right over there that's signed in to one of your friends. We're leaving that's that one. That's what you told me to do. It's on my car. Freddie, you're not on a no-brainer anymore. We're, we're giving you questions that you can answer yeah. freely. You can answer that freely. That's not part of the oh. mod. You are free to answer anything not part all of right, the right. mod. All right, all right. With the mod. Well, I d if it were up to me, I would have just des destroyed the car. So nothing leads back to him. Fair enough. I walk over to the vehicle. I look down the street. I look up um, the street. Give me a luck roll. I'm curious to see because you, you're kind of on the outskirts of town when Freddie finally gave out. Um, but I don't know how there's fucking kids and stuff. There, 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 there's a fucking soccer game going on nearby. Uh, there's ladies hanging up their wash and gossiping over the fence and looking over and like wondering who the hairless monkeys are and do they live here? Why doesn't the one have any sleeves? I'll be right back. No mm -hmm. All right, how do we destroy a car with so many people around? Drive it into a ditch. We can't drive the car. <laughs> that's all. That's why you've been. It, it's almost noon because it took so long to get it here. Oh my goodness! Three a.m. until noon. Boop! I spent another point. Wait, what are you doing? What? Oh. Really? You're gonna spend the hero point on that? Uh, dude, we'll this, be fine. You don't need to. Yeah. Okay. See, there's, there's better ways to deal with it than destroying it, anyway. Yeah, I mean we can just. Is there like a a body shop somewhere we can go and take it and have them repair it or change? With zero it's... questions, zero questions, Freddie. Hey, we got, hey uh, we got this car. It's been hot wired. There's blood all up in it. It doesn't belong to us. Uh, hey, can you guys, you know, fix this up for us? I got one. <laughs> I'll, I'll take you. There are some shady body shops. You know these people. Give me a streetwise uh, roll at half since you're not familiar with this town. 
Am I familiar with this bit? Well, it might be. I know. I don't know anyone. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, let me check my streetwise. Now that I'm thinking about it, I do recall there is absolutely fuck all no one. You know some undercover cops that you can bring it to. All right. What <laughs> if we just stripped away the license plates so they don't know who the car belongs to? Have you heard when of VIN numbers, Freddy? Good point. No mind. You have to take a car apart to get all the VIN numbers off of them. <sighs> all right. Sorry about that. You're missing valuable lessons in how to strip a car down so that the cops can't tell whose it is. Do you know about VIN numbers? Ask, ask uh, Uncle TJ to explain the <laughs> numbers to you and why it's important to uh, get rid of those. All right, so... Uh, get rid of a license plate. Yeah, See, if we made that same mistake a second ago. Yep. Yeah. The VIN numbers are... They have uh, printed in, like, several different places inside of the car. The, like, a serial number of the car. So there's some Yahoo takes off license plates and you open up the car and find those numbers you go this is this car those are called vin numbers mm. they're a pain in the ass to get to but uh what make if we make sure of that what if we okay this is gonna sound stupid what mm. if we call the tow truck company and have them tow it back to the agency and they'll take care of the car all right so the Detective agency has a car that's got blood in it. Look, they know what, what shit we're going to have to. They'll cover that. You know, that's the most reasonable sounding shit I've ever heard, Freddie. This is <laughs> yeah. why you're here, Freddie. Take this a refill, Freddie. That's, Amen. that's actually very reasonable. Because <laughs> uh. let me tell you, my fucking legs are all burned out right now. There's no way I was going to be able to chase everybody in that fucking park playing T-ball down with this hex. <laughs> So, uh, no worries. He calls up uh, the PI agency, tells them that he needs his car taken back there because you don't want this small town tow truck. And, you know, the car is special and all that. And they're like, okay. Shit's we'll happened. Happen. Shit happened. The best part is, it's not in my name. We don't I'm know where he's going. So, if you see him, ask him what happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. The uh, tow truck guys uh, tell you will be there in uh, a couple hours. You know, well, the agency tells you the tow truck guys will be there in a couple hours. Cool. Yeah. Right. So Freddie actually came up with uh, he called it a stupid idea, but it turned out that it's just yes. it works. No problem. The car goes away. Forgot along with agency to deal with the special cases. <laughs> yeah. All right, you two. Where to now? I go to my car now. Great. He takes you to his car that has a "Please destroy me" bumper sticker on it. Nice. All right, Vince. Ideas, thoughts. Right. I I was able to get some ru uh, runes. Um, some scribbles from that stone that we saw in the pond. Nice. And I never knew. I don't know the language. Uh, can I take a look? Let's all take a look. Freddie, what do you think this is? I stare right. at it intently. Everybody give me, first off, um, a um, linguistics role, uh, aside from uh, Vince, who already tried all this. Because Colbert Maddox has a lot of uh, linguistics and shit. Nope, no idea. Excellent. All right. Ancient uh, Egyptian. I don't know. Everybody can try the whatever. Well, Colburn already tried new language. Uh, but now uh, try new language again, Colburn, for new language. Freddie, I know you know what language this is, but you can go ahead and uh, just roll a percentage that doesn't reveal the uh, skill name and uh, see if you make whatever, if you have that skill. If not, just hit new language. Wow. Do you have the skill at that? I do not. Ah, damn. It's a pity because 
Freddie's got a hell of a learn. Can I use no. my occult roll? Uh, I will take Cthulhu Mythos roll from uh, uh, Colburn and uh, Freddie. Yep, it's stuff. It's definitely stuff. Oh, well, Freddie, this is obviously uh, Enochian, the language of the angels, uh, written about by John Dee. Blah. Uh, weird. All right. Um, <laughs> right. Right. Sure. Um, well, that's that's good news. Now we have angel carved statues underwater where there are monsters showing up to eat people. Fascinating. Uh, let's go to the library and see if there's any indigenous people in this region. Uh, oh, I, I hop into the cloud and take him to the library. Tell him where it is. No problem. Uh, Freddie, this is for just getting around town. Are you wanting to go at old man speed or reasonable person speed? No, we've been over this by now, Levin. I am old man driver. Right, give me your old I man driving. Car. next to the car. <laughs> it shows an old guy in a fucking walker beating you guys. He's like, <laughs> Uh, is that plus 20? Yes, plus 20. Yes. Okay. And uh, if you uh, fucking fumble, then the car is on fire and it's on its side and you're screaming, why, God, why? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, no problem. You guys uh, uh, reach the library. Freddie, I, until you go somewhere like off roading or something crazy happens, no more driving rolls needed from you as long as you're driving. Okay. And you guys are looking in fascination. It appears that. Freddie has something odd in his car called a key, and it allows him to turn it on and off whenever he wants. It's very strange to you. You don't know what kind of weird magic this is. What sorcery is this? Mm -hmm. yep. He takes you to the library that you've been to before. You guys roll up in front of it. I gosh, you're hungry. You haven't eaten since you were out brutally murdering people or attempting Shit, to let's finish right through. He wants to go through a drive through in the library, but there's no food here. The look Freddy gives you. You could have told me that earlier. But, okay. It just hit me. I'm sorry. All right, it's fine. I know how it... Yeah. Making chum oh. takes a lot of energy. I'll go find, like, Mickey D's or something. Ooh, no problem. Yeah, Why do you eat the chum? Uh, $9 feeds really? all of you. Uh, who, I'm, I'm not paying for that. You pay for it. They just look at you. They just sit there and look at you oh, as no, the no. guy's holding up the bag of food in one hand with his hand out the other. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I thought Freddie was going to floor and just stay away. Fuck this guy out. Fuck you, people. I've had enough already. All right. Let me drive back to the lab now. No problem. You guys, uh, you, you notice that you're getting ready to get out, and they're just sitting there eating and looking at you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can't eat inside this library. They'll kick you out. We yeah. finish our food, and then we go back in. Right. You go back in the library, and, um, yeah, uh, the librarian looks at you guys, and she looks absolutely horrified, like you just came in with dead oh, fish yeah. stuff to you. Oh, yeah, he has no shirt on. I mean, we haven't freshened up. We fell into a lake. Why don't you go freshen up, she says. Let's go back to our fucking hotel. That's a great idea. <gasps> oh, she... But I'm going to want all your pop-up books on indigenous people when we return. All right. <laughs> I go. Let's go. Got two. Uh, the, I blue need, uh, the blue yeah. something. Well, now there's two yeah. different hotels. You can either go to the blue bonnet. Yeah. Or you could go to uh, the champ. That money waster. No. Blue bonnet. Blue bonnet. Right. $35 later. I'll pay for it whole, I guess. Ooh, thank you. Now, the big question is, uh, aside from Freddy, who is packed, However, actually, Freddy doesn't need him because he hasn't yet trashed himself. Do either of you guys actually carry spare clothes? Absolutely not. 
Do you need me to get your spare clothes? Yeah. That sounds great, Freddy. Yeah, what it's just that they're they're both in the they're both in, sitting in the bathtub at the opposite ends. The water's turned red and they're drinking. Yeah. Go get spare clothes. The murder hobos are waiting here. All right, hold on. I didn't know. I didn't know, Fred. I didn't know. He tried uh, to kill him, Freddy. He tried to kill him. Oh God, Freddy. Oh God. Freddy, Freddy. pull yourself together. Freddy, calm down. It was like a melon that just exploded. It was awful. Hold on. Oh, fuck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be a Trump to hold on to. What? All right. Why am I Trumping? Listen carefully. It's sitting in it's the bathtub. Trump, it's a Trump of me. When I'm ready, I need you to focus on the Trump and the, pull me back through. How the fuck am I going to know when you're ready, Freddy? I point to the bracelet on your hand. Oh shit, that's right. All right, I hold the Trump that has Freddy. I'll be back in like ten minutes. Did your character actually walk pattern, TJ? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yes. Let okay, me, yes. cool. I, I was thinking it'd be extra funny if he left and you're like, I've never walked pattern. I can't use this. That would have been fucking uh, so I'll go to the embassy. Be mm -hmm. super nice to Alwyn. Explain the situation. Uh, he's like, um, well, like I told you last time we were here, we're super short on all kinds of clothing and stuff. Whatever now. you have, anything will do. Right. He heads off. He comes back. He gives you a bundle wrapped in brown paper, tied with uh, twine. He goes, this is all I can dig up on short notice. Thanks, Ellen. Appreciate it. Certainly. Uh, I tap my bicep. No problem. Uh, da, 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 or actually, it goes. Brrr. I set mine on vibrate. Yeah. Um, when you're and somebody calls you, you really got to go. I uh, focus on Freddy's trump card. No problem. Uh, right. Uh, eventually, uh, he's sitting there staring at this weird playing card thing. And eventually it gets bigger, and then he reaches out, and him and Freddy grasp hands, and he pulls Freddy through. And Freddy's got a uh, package with him. And then you take back your trump card or liquid. Yeah, yeah, I'll take my yeah. Hand it back to him. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, this is all I can get on short notice. I hand it to you. There's, awesome. Uh, I look forward to the horrible shit Logan is prepared to give us. Inside is two different dresses one blue, one green. Loka. <laughs> I'd rather just wear my old clothes. Um, Your old clothes are not seemly. The dress might actually you be... Have no Freddy, Freddy, have you heard what? of a thing called a store? A store? I thought you were going to go to a store. <laughs> what there are, spend also, money? there As... are also two bonnets included. Store. They're pretty, pretty uh, bonnets with flowers and shit. Uh, I, I, whoever you got these from doesn't like him very much. All right, hold on. Um, they both look at you. Really a store? Do you really want is to there? see me in a blue dress, Freddy? I mean, I don't know that. I've never seen you in one. Yeah, hold on a second. He looks curious and possibly intrigued. <laughs> I wear the blue one because I know that one represents happiness. Hmm. <laughs> no. Yeah, but you're not going to wear it to the funeral if we do go. Correct. I mean, no I problem. Would you like to well. wear the bonnet as well, TJ? Oh, for sure. <laughs> as you're sitting there admiring yourself in the full length mirror, you're thinking, with that fucking mask on, this would be really fucking amazing. Especially if you're out hunting down people and shit. This could be a new thing for you right here. Look. Yeah. They, I know my serial killer profile. They, they, they think we're monkeys. They're not going to know any different. Yeah, good point. All right, put on your dress, Vincent. All right. It's <laughs> 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 the first time I've ever heard that. That doesn't sound right. All no right. Problem. You guys are both wearing pretty dresses. I'm right. a pretty ballerina. Um. All right. What's Would the next like play? Would Vincent, would you like to wear your pretty pink bonnet as well? No. Okay. Oh, but then you're not. <laughs> yeah, all right, fine. I'll, I'll wear it. 
guys. You feel like such a tool. I, I want to sketch them while they decide so which the next plan is. Roll a sketching roll. It's very important that you make this for uh, something to masturbate to later. Nice coral, by the way. Mm -hmm. The dress really flares out when you do that. It's nice. It's very cool. Have you ever worn a kilt there, Vincent? Oh. It's like wearing a kilt. Oh. No problem. He, he draws a big penis and shows it to you with pride. Right. What the fuck? All right. Uh, so let's go back to the library. Oh, eh? <laughs> Don't both look nice, says librarian. She's not speaking ironically because nobody knows what monkey's dress in. <laughs> You've we never seen this and blush before. She gives you a, uh, 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 let's see how she did. Uh, she couldn't find anything. <laughs> It oh. looks like recently right, we're going to have to do it ourselves, guys. We're going to have to research. It looks like it recently the industrial uh, shredder that they have here for some reason. <laughs> right. uh, we do research on indigenous people. Is anybody wanting to research anything different while he's researching indigenous Tell people? Tell me what you want me to research. Uh, I would like you to research us. A, a detective summers yeah well, okay i'll i'll research detective summers i'll tell uh, i'll tell freddie what the guy looks like do you want to just pull oh. out a fucking uh, uh photo idea of him that you happen to be carrying i i make sure the librarian isn't around right and show freddie what the guy looks like and this okay. is the correct spelling of his last name and this guy he was walking around yesterday and he was probably having a normal day, Freddy. And he was like, oh, I got to go get some stuff for work. And then maybe I got to buy a gift for my friends. And then, for some reason, Freddy, he fucking tried to kill me. I got Freddy take him. He starts losing in the library, Freddy. What are you going to do? I'm going to do what he said and try and find some info on the night. I ignored it. You ignore his outburst of insanity. <laughs> as he's yeah. shaking you. He appears to be a bit traumatized, Freddy. Don't give a shit. He made you, you made him uh, you made you push a car all the way from the fucking I, uh, I pull my shit together. All right. Come on, Cobar. <laughs> ah, I gotta research. Oh my god. Go uh, right. That's Fucking great. Uh, are both of you guys researching the same thing then? No, I'm researching indigenous people. He's researching Detective Summers, and Vincent is researching something else that's useful. I want to I want to try to go look at the picture and see if I can find anything similar. What picture? Um, You know how you had me write down, or I wrote down some oh, stuff? Oh, the, the symbols. Yeah. Got it. All right. Everybody give me their research rolls. Holy shit. Oh my God. All right. Come on, Vincent. Don't fuck it up. Everybody's rocking out. I can't find my research roll. Hold up. It's a button. It Look under the library. library. I just blind her. Yes. Listen to the library. Yeah. 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 All right. I killed that research. You guys definitely killed that research. All right. And. Let's see here. Oh my God. This is definitely a hilarious rendition of this. I don't know if you'll actually ever get it done, but fucking great. Um, let's see. There it is. Uh, right. You found uh, looking up uh, local indigenous peoples. Uh, it's a belief that uh, there was uh, some sort of weird tribe of like primitive slea stack uh, a lot long time ago who believed that uh, spirits of the lake had to be uh, given uh, sacrifices, usually a deer, uh, during uh, uh, certain months. According to legend, the meat would be uh, left at the uh, new moon when a particular star named Algol, not Algor, Algol, I'll put the spelling up 
for you. No, no, I like writing down Al Gore. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it won't help you later. It was on the horizon, and if the offering was deemed unacceptable by whatever gods or whatever, that devastated flooding would uh, uh, supposedly occur in the uh, spring. Since you made your library research so well, here's some information on Algol. Yeah. Could you read that out loud, Tim? The star Algol takes its name. Wait a minute. Backing up. Restarting. Earlier astronomers nicknamed Algo the Demon Star. It is associated in the sky lore with a mythical scary monster, the Gorgon Medusa, who had snakes instead of hair. It is said that she was so horrifying in appearance that the light of her would the sight of her would turn the onlooker to stone. The star, Al Gol, takes its name from an Arabic word meaning the demon's head. The ancients associated the star's variable brightness with the evil winking eye of the Medusa. Al Gol is known is a known variable star which waxes and wanes in brightness. Nice. That's okay. actually real real star and stuff. So uh, right, and what were you researching, Mr. Vega? I was researching uh, the symbols and if there's anything similar to it. Right. Uh, what you found on the symbols is those seem to be a uh, pre slee stack uh, uh, symbols uh, associated with various evil shit. Um, hold on a second. Let me find that real quick, y'all. Yeah. You can also find that in English, it would roughly translate as to this. Meanwhile, Freddie, what did you find out? Uh, quit on Detective Summer. Right. Um, he's married, has a daughter who's 14 years old. Uh, he's been working as a cop since uh, he was young. Um, his record has been okay. The only thing that's really marred it is uh, for the last, oh, almost a year, he has been unable to crack uh, the case of what the fuck is going on with people turning up dead once a month. And uh, um, you found a picture of him uh, uh, it's like one of those manly, well, slee stacky shots where he's like cording wood with an axe um, and uh, a very distinctive looking axe. There you go. Blah. Cool. Now, uh, from what uh, Vince found, could everybody give me a new Cthulhu Mythos roll? Good luck. We're all counting on now you gotta find out what cthulhu mythos skill is although asking the other people may or may not help uh, this is what freddy goes oh my god it's the pumpkin god got Nobody it goes oh no it's oh. not the pumpkin god he's he spells like, his name slightly differently a fucking star vampire better not be a fucking star vampire oops uh, that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> Start vampire. Uh, no, but you do know uh, this. This uh, one of the words they translated comes out. This is what your Cthulhu mythos tells you. Uh, and the guy. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and read that. Be sure to pronounce everything correctly for the studio. Mr. From the stars, son of Sakwa. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, so Logan wants me to read uh, fucking Cthulhu. <laughs> Kill us all. I'm going to hit the restroom while you read that. Because Ogulia, the feaster from the stars, said to be the son of the Sakwa. Vilsapoya is a rather useless entity said only to visit Earth when summoned and specifically comes to feed. Uh, referencing to the worship of this thing by certain rare and especially debased wizards, mostly to placate it. Uh, accounts are consistent that worship 
of the entity has never resulted in any tangible benefit to anyone. All right. So we have some sort of fucking lunatic who's running around worshipping this thing. Hmm. And performing rituals on the new moons to actually bring it here. So if we fucking find the wizard, we solve the problem. Yeah, pretty much. 